Hello, Papa J. Let's Excel here. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to import uh, external web data, for example, like a table into Excel. Okay. So many people do it this way. I used to do it this way as well. So for example, okay, for example, right, uh, let me just uh, string this a little bit. For example, we want to copy this table. Okay. So what you do, what some people do is, and I, what I used to do is, I'll just copy the whole table this way. I'll just copy, copy the whole table this way. Oh, that's a lot, huh? Copy, and then uh, paste. Okay, some people will do this, right? Uh, we also can do this, for example, uh, right click, keep source formatting, or you can match destination formatting. Okay, for example, you can click this, uh, then you get this table. Okay, but you will find that uh, it's not that ideal. So you can see uh, this looks good. This doesn't look good because this is uh, spread out over two two rows, right? Two rows. Uh, so maybe this is something that we do not want. Okay, some of that looks okay. Okay, yeah. So for example, in this, maybe you don't want it to be in three rows. You want it to be one row, right? Okay. So you can do. So this is uh, not a very good way. Okay. Okay. So another method that you can use, right? So like for example, if you use this method. There's, there's an empty row over here and if you want to use it as a table let me just uh, adjust a little bit more so for example you can use this as a, as a table right it's not that ideal right it's not that ideal so what you can do is you can go to data and you click from web okay data and from web okay and you just key the URL. So over here, the URL, this is the URL, right? This is the URL over here. And you paste the URL, right? Click OK. And wait for it to load. So it will ask you which table you want to load. You click this, OK? If you click Web View, it will show this table. But this is, this is the table that you want, right? OK? You can transform data or you can just load but for simplicity let's uh, load, load it over here you just load okay it will give you a new worksheet and get the data so there you have it you have the data over here and it's nicely done for you okay nicely done for you and uh, obviously there are some things that we need to take more over here like this okay okay so what you can do is uh because this is a query and also there's a connection uh so you you, you have the you have the uh tabs over here on query that you can use okay merge or append or or do some uh operations over here right but uh if you don't want it to be a query you can just unlink it okay unlink it right this will permanently remove the query okay so that's connection Okay, so you can go to uh, query and uh, delete. Okay, you can just delete. Delete from the connection. Right? So it's just a table. But it's still it's still a table. It's still a table. Okay. So if you don't want this to be a table, you just click convert to range. And there you have it, you convert to range. And if you want it to be a normal table, just go to home, uh, cell styles, and uh, normal. There you have it. Yes. Okay. So that's it for this video on how to export uh, external table into Excel. Okay. Papa J. Lens Excel here. Uh, don't forget to subscribe this video if you liked it. I will do more videos. Thank you very much. Thank you. And see you in the next video. Bye.